Welcome to the Geological Timescale Explained. The Geological Timescale is a system of relating geological strata to time. It spans billions of years and divides Earth's natural history into a series of time periods. These are eons, eras, periods, epochs, and ages. We are currently in the Holocene Apoch, which started 11,700 years ago. We will start with the largest time period, the eons. There are four of them, the Hadean, Archean, Proterozoic, and Phanerozoic. Three of these, the Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic eons, are often lumped together to make Precambrian time. Anyway, first up is the Hadean Eon. This eon occurred from 4.5 to 4 billion years ago, and was the time of the most volcanism and meteoroid impacts. Next up, the Archean Eon. This eon occurred from 4 billion to 2.5 billion years ago, when the Earth was cooled down, and there was no oxygen in the sky. The last of Precambrian time, we have the Proterozoic Eon, in which Earth had oxygen but no complex life. Finally, we have the Phanerozoic Eon. It started 541 million years ago and was when complex life arrived. What is interesting is that these eons end and begin with something massive, for example oxygen entering the air. The same can be said for eras, periods, epochs, and ages. Now it's time for the eras. I will only look at the eras of the Phanerozoic Eon because there isn't much information on the others. The Phanerozoic Eon begins with the Paleozoic Era. This was when fish used to dominate the world. It occurred from 541 to 252.17 million years ago. Then came the Mesozoic Era, where reptiles ruled the world. This was from 252.17 to 66 million years ago, and ended with the extinction of the dinosaurs. Finally is the Cenozoic Era, when the mammals emerged. This has been going on since 66 million years ago, and is the era we are currently living in. Now, let's go into periods. The Paleozoic Era begins with the... This lasted from 541 to 458.4 million years ago. The Cambrian period came after the Ediacaran period. The Ediacaran period was when microscopic organisms began to be more complex and have multicellular systems. The Cambrian period is very important because in this period, complex life first appeared. After the Cambrian period came the Ordovician period. This lasted from 458.4 to 443.4 million years ago. In this period, the fish diversified. The Silurian period was next, from 443.4 to 419.2 million years ago. In this period, sea levels rose due to the rapid melting of glaciers. Coral reefs also made their first appearance here. After this was the Devonian period, from 419.2 to 358.9 million years ago, and it saw the rise of plants. Trees such as these made their first appearance in this period. The Carboniferous period, which was after, lasted for 60 million years, from 358.9 to 298.9 million years ago. In this period, swamps became more populated. It also saw the rise of terrestrial reptiles and arthropods, however, fish were still more dominant. And the buildup has led to this moment. The Permian period arises from 298.9 to 252.17 million years ago. The climate was drying after an ice age had just ended, and the densely populated swamp regions were drying quickly. The colder temperatures of the poles could not suit fish anymore. While fish remained, reptiles quickly replaced them as the dominant species of the planet. The Paleozoic Era ends while the Mesozoic begins. Probably the most famous three periods out of all are the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. In fact, these are the only three of the entire Mesozoic Eon. We begin with the Triassic period from 252.17 to 201.3 million years ago. 
As we know, reptiles became more dominant than fish, both on land and in water. This meant that the reptiles were relatively small. Next up, we have the Jurassic period, from 201.3 to 145 million years ago. This period had lots of warm tropical climate everywhere, shallow seas, and many more dinosaurs. The breakup of the continents also happened at this time. During the Upper Apache and Kimmeridgian age of the Jurassic period, Brachiosauruses appeared. Finally, we have the Cretaceous period occurring from 145 to 66 million years ago. This was a big one. Many of the famous dinosaurs were living in this time, like the Velociraptor, Spinosaurus, Titanosaurus, Mosasaurus, and Triceratops. Oh yeah, and this guy, whatever he is. The Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event likely started by a climate change that depleted all foods and plants, a volcanic eruption, or a meteoroid impact. It may have killed 80% of all species at the time. 66 million years ago saw the end of the Mesozoic Era and the start of the Cenozoic Era. The Palogene period occurred from 66 to 23.03 million years ago. It saw the massive diversification of mammals, it was also here that the first permanent Antarctic ice sheet was formed. The Himalayas formed after the smashing of the Indian subcontinent into the rest of Asia. After was the Neogene period, from 23.03 to 2.588 million years ago. In this, creatures evolved and became more related to each other than to the previous period. Species also interchanged continents, as near the end, North America and South America had joined, and in previous periods, Africa and India joined Asia. Now we come to the Quaternary Period. Weird, because this is the third period of the Cenozoic Era. From 2.588 million years ago until today. This is when, yes, woolly mammoths used to exist, and of course, humans appeared during this period. This concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will keep important links in the description. I am planning on making a series of videos on constellations, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.